on. Somehow I can't get over the idea that I should have a look around the harbor. Start something? My liver needs a drink badly. And who are you that you want to drink with me? I think I heard wrong. Rum's my best friend. But I don't know you, you see. Now I understand everything. You know how it is. Sure. Then sell me this bottle and buy yourself a new one. No, the bottle's not for sale. I'll go. This water is making me tired. What is that supposed to mean? That's exactly what I said. I could do something good with that. I'm a guy eating peace around here. What ship are you from? What's it got to do with you? Can I... What? What? Hey, man. What are you mad about? Mad? This shithead here is mad. Drink something. You don't think I know that already? You can't get any credit in this joint. Can I... Where are you, man? At home. My mom's watching him. What's wrong, sailor? Lose your pipe? Only the lack of money. I can't even afford one measly beer. You're not from around here, are you? You here to ask questions or to pour beer? Hey, this is my bar. And in my bar, I'll ask as many questions as I please. 
Take it easy, buddy. You got a beer? Of course. Have you got money? Ah, you're singing a different song now. Don't sing. Just pour. Coming right up. Just a beer. For you, it's just a beer, but for me, it's manna from heaven. Damn, the door's stuck. I don't think an Olympic weightlifter could get this thing open.
and you've not been able to hear me this entire time. That's good. Uh, but now you can go back to not hearing me. This time with 100% more than you've been able to hear me. Is it this? Is it yeah, this is right. Uh, it does want me to save the game here again. Because I am indeed lost in boxes. We have that. Somebody out here. Why are you suddenly so pale? It's the smell. You stink. Such a big guy. Where am I going to get such a big box? Don't just stand there. Shake the lead out. What's wrong? Break out of your chains. Shut your mouth. So many fucking bizarre accents. Oh, the guy from Sunday school. Amen. Come on, get it out. You got ten seconds, or we'll get it ourselves. Be an absolute bitch. <laughs> Great shooting attacks. Missed every single fucking one of them. The gigantic fucking coat. There's, there's a loose plank. It's gonna be that one, isn't it? It's a different colour. Are we gonna fit this in our coat as well? <laughs> oh Christ, you know what, in Sam the Sorcerer it makes sense, you know, because it's magic. Go in his magic hat. Hang on. Oh thank you. What? This is why I generally stream dead late at night, as opposed to now. Right, what the fuck am I doing? Do 
Jinka screwed down. I need the right tools. We should have the right tools. Fisherman. Talk to fish boy. You want me to go to bed hungry? You live on this boat? That's right. I call this boat home. Boat home? And during a storm? The life of a captain is full of wind and storms and water. You get used to it after a while. Well, I'm here for another reason. Can you lend me your rope for a couple of hours? Nope. I'm afraid you can't. Well, sure. Lad, you're standing in the way of things again. Not so loud! You're scaring the fish away. I heard there weren't any fish here. What on your hard drum? Besides, what do you land lovers know about fish? Just that they taste pretty good. That's right. Typical land lover. Somehow I don't believe the reason for your being here has anything to do with fish. Correct. So? I'm looking for a rope. You don't want to hang yourself, do you? Not at all. Oh, dog. Without a rope, I'll have to go swimming. You're a real comedian. But whatever you say, I need the rope myself. My rope. Not so loud. Oh, Jesus. What do I care about? Get out of here, and I have to fish. Oh, boy. What do you want? I need a rope. That's right. But it won't get you anywhere. I give up. I'm just gonna go straight in with the fucking rope. Probably gonna come that straight away. Oh, I see. You're one of those guys who's always got an ace up his sleeve. I do what I can. In that case, the rope's yours. Thanks. Enjoy the fishing. Can't wait to see what we're going to use all this shit for. Rope and an anchor. Alright. Let's actually take the fucking rope, shall we? Now we go right once to the warehouse area. Right, so that's this. Time to save again. That's the thing on the floor. A spider with my eyes. It's a clam. Oh, it's mussels. That's not what a mussel looks like. That's a clam. I ate mussels earlier. I ate four of them. Because that's how many were in my dinner. Mussels, king prawns, calamari, in spaghetti with a spicy lobster sauce. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Nothing too fucking extravagant, but you know, reasonable. Anyway. I'm gonna get caught by somebody. You know, we'll have that hammer. Anything else? Is that a thing? I can't call that a thing. No matter. Okay, what's next?
I got to admit the major. It's a pleasure doing the business with you. I'm very glad you're happy with our cooperation. The next delivery should be even the bigger, so my customers will be happier than they are now. I'll do my very best. I'm quite sure I can deliver more, but I can't make any promises. I'll be counting on you. And don't forget the new machine guns. But of course, a deal is a deal. It should run like clockwork, just as long as nobody gets in our way. Speaking of getting in the way, What's happening with the police? I've taken care of all the critical matters. Don't tell any. We made a new friend. Well put. Yes, sir. Tom Rogers. All right. The inspector that you're serving. The How do you manage it? He's the cleanest the cop in the town. Right, he won't even accept the guns, box. And I've got them for, Well, let's just say he doesn't go fiver. quite as rigorously by the book damage. these days. I've not picked them up yet, though. Besides, so I didn't know. I've bought some pint cans of them. I substantially the raised to see his what income. Like. Mm. Gotta really say, you're doing some good work here. Or mirages, or the belief. There's just uh, one problem I, I couldn't take shit, care of. Yeah, and why would that be? I thought it was Some not great, but then what would you expect from Carlsberg? But I don't know who it is. You underestimated me, Major. The detective's name is Jack Orlando, and I had him locked up in the basement. Basement, I get back. I'm gonna make sure that he never bothers us again. You are one dangerous man, Scaletti. I sure am glad I'm on your side. Let's keep it that way. Now. Back at the business. Of course. Now we get to do the most important part. The money's in the bag, like we agreed. Good. Another five grand for my retirement. Five and a half grand. Give the 500 to our friend, Rogers. That's perfect timing. I'm meeting Rogers tomorrow morning at the station house. Then he'll get his first reward for dual loyalty. Good. Then everything's taken care of. I want to invite you and your wife to dinner. Saturday at my place. Where the Sumper thinks to celebrate. It would be an honor. Good. See you on a Saturday. What the hell's going on over there? Joe, let's take a look. Okay, so that's why we have to do that. I guess you would have uh, been shot to shit otherwise. Knock this fuck around. You'll get a headache, that's for sure. Should have waited. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll have to sit through that. Oh no, I can skip dialogue, can't I? That'll be fine. Oh, piss. Wait, 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 wait. Just in case. Put it there. Well, we're here, let's do this. looking for get over here I can't miss from this close Save it again. We'll overwrite the last save right here. Oh, 
How are you, you meant to work out the timing on this? Hi. Super frustrating when you ace something and then you get yourself killed at one place and you just can't get back there. You just get raped constantly. I got it though. That's all I'm talking The money's in the bag, like we agreed. Good. Another five grand for my retirement. Five and a half grand. Give the 500 to our friend Rogers. That's perfect timing. I'm meeting Rogers tomorrow morning at the station house. Good. I'm ready. Good. Who's the chick in the box off? Who's that meant to be? Let's do us a save. But let's not pull it, because let's see how it happens when we uh, walk over this wrench. Well, that's the end of you. As I somewhat predicted, brutal death. For someone that's been routinely shot to shit, he's not showing a lot of bullet holes, is he? Admit the the does this. I the the same place that you saved. But the exact place you saved is where I that's too easy.
Sorry about that. Uh, you've just missed us driving around the map. And now we're here. I guess we should probably save. This music's shit. I'm gonna need a piece of paper. I'm gonna literally end this channel. Kill him. I'm, he's dead. He's dead. That's the end of it. I'm killing him now. The job is ended. Right. Sacks could help me get out of here. Doesn't match my cult. He's a wire. Can always use this. Are you fucking for real? This is madness. I imagine this could come in useful later. Skeleton kit, yes. The bit of wire bent it and that will open every door ever. Where are you going? 
Stop it. I need to take the lead. The door is closed, and I forgot my clothes. I've got to find another way to get in there before someone finds my stuff. Have you considered... Oh, right, yeah. I mean, why is the door locked? You know what, whatever. Go around two times. To the cafeteria, which is building six. Pick up the soup ladle. That'll help us get in. Want a refill, Major? I just wanted to ask what's for lunch. We've got chicken soup and steaks on the menu. Mm. I really like steaks. I'm so glad it suits your taste. So, what do you think of my food anyway? Fantastic. That's good to hear. I love it. I've got too much to do to be chatting. See you for lunch. Oh, how is any of that wrong? Well, I did get to drop this. I think this is yours. Thanks. With this ladle, I can make dreams come true. That's okay. Maybe you can help me. Do you have the keys to the dressing room? I can't seem to find my keys right now. Isn't that what it's about, pal? Yeah, thanks. Good man. What's the betting on this? I've already been caught. At least we fucking move like the wind. I can finally finish what I started. Oh, right, so it's not about the clothes, it's about all this shit. We're basically just having a uh, inventory clean out. And I guess this is the useful stuff. Maybe. Fucking <sighs> whatever, dude. Morning, Major. How long have you been on duty? Since yesterday, sir. Jesus. Any vehicles leave the base last night? Yes, sir. Three trucks left on Major Stewart's orders. By the way, have you seen Major Stewart today? Yes, sir. He's already at work. Good. Thanks, soldier. I wish you well. Thank you, sir. have the same base, which is interesting stuff. I have to go left for three uh, walks. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to pick that hat up. Yeah, my hat. I definitely also want to pick up that massive shell. No one's going there. You got a pass? Nope. Sorry. Let's try the dog tags because I've got them. That must have been incredibly expensive, sir. Uh, yeah, it was. Can I go in there? You got a pass? Nope. Sorry. Bitch. Bitch. I 
it on this first. Huh. I think this is yours. I'm looking for Colonel Williams. Can you tell me where I can find him? He's in his office, in the administration building. I can't find my pass card. Could you lend me yours? Well, of course. They don't give a shit, do they? Honestly, that looks like a pack of business to me. But whatever. Don't have anything in it. Okay. Right. Fine. Smokes, but with a book of matches. Let's see if the game's clever enough to let me automatically do it. You got a pass? Good day Something. to you, sir. I just really like picking shit up. Bottle. Smash someone over the head with that later. Uh, enter the first door to your left with a 2 1 1. Good day, sir. How's the connection with the outside world? Sir, I wish to report that everything is okay, sir. Really? I've got a different opinion. I don't understand, sir. In my office, I hear all the phone conversations from the secretary's desk. Sir, I'll look into this right away. It's off your fuck. I need to piss about with these cables, clearly. Something's wrong. No diet. in my pocket because of course it is. Bear with me. Tonty Tonty Tay. Damn, I left Tom's phone number at my apartment. Files as files. Fucking hell. Oh, it's gonna be that right. My telephone number in this book. Ah. 
Tom's phone number. Who's Tom? Rogers, hello. I'm glad you called. I'd be happy if I were you. How's business? Everything's going well. That's why I'm calling. I'm all ears. Come to the base and pick up your share. With pleasure. I just finished up with the burglar. Don't forget the briefcase. Don't worry. I've got it. I'll be right there. Hmm, interesting. College. How can I help? Safe. Oh, I'm looking for Colonel Williams. Sorry, but the Colonel just left 15 minutes ago. That's unfortunate. 15 minutes ago, you say? Maybe 20 minutes. Can I wait for him? You want to wait here five days? I don't understand. The Colonel's gone to the training grounds to observe the maneuvers. The earliest he'll be back is in five days. Anything else? No, that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Major. Come back in a few weeks. Okay. A bit of 412. Hello, Major. Hmm. I'm afraid I've forgotten your name. Doesn't matter. Tell Major Stewart there's been a break-in. Break-in? What break-in? What are you talking about, Major? An unauthorized person broke into warehouse number two. A break-in? Oh, that's impossible. The base is heavily guarded, Major. You don't believe me? Then go see for yourself. Please, don't get excited, sir. I'll call Major Stewart right away. <laughs> Hello, Major Stewart. Good day, sir. This is Julia Hanks. We have a small problem. What's happened, Miss Hanks? Someone just reported a break-in in the warehouse. In which warehouse? One with weapons. No, sir. Warehouse number two. Will you be taking care of it, sir? Naturally. I'll just finish up what I'm working on and start immediately. Thank you, Miss Hanks. Goodbye. Goodbye, Major. Want here. I've got something important to tell you, Colonel. No, I'm busy right now. This matter can't wait, Colonel. I said I'm busy. I will not permit you to tell me what I must do. Well, then you'll just have to change your habits. Who do you think you are? Is that any way to speak to a high-ranking officer? I don't have time for polite niceties. It's a matter of life and death. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Jack Orlando, private detective. But we shouldn't waste any time on trivial details. That's no small matter, Mr. Orlando. And where on earth did you get this Orlando, uniform? Keep any more papers. Oh. Ross. Oh, that never was out. 
I had to take it out of the supply depot. You broke into the depot? I'm calling the sentry. At least I only took the uniform. I don't understand. Let me explain. How long do you know Major Stewart? Long enough. I still don't understand. Let me lay the cards out. Well, finally. No doubt you heard about the murder of Pete Reynolds. Of course. He was a colleague of mine. What are you getting at? I'll explain everything in a minute. I fell into this whole thing by coincidence. And all trails lead here. Could you be a little more clear? Of course, you're aware of the term fraud. Naturally. But what's this about? Never solo streaming while fucking kids are up again. This is a pissing nightmare. A few trucks left the base last night loaded with weapons. Can you repeat that? I think I've misheard you. That ain't necessary. You heard right. You're crazy, Orlando. Sorry to say, I'm not crazy. These are facts, and behind the facts are concrete names. For example, Major Pete Reynolds. It's damn easy to accuse a dead man. But Major Stewart is in excellent health. What are you implying? How dare you? I can understand your reaction. I figured you'd act like that. Well, after all, you are a detective. That's right. So let me repeat, last night, Stewart sold weapons to a certain Scaletti. My patience is at an end, Orlando. I think the documents which I'll now show you should be of interest to you. Unbelievable. My God. I can't believe my eyes. Hello, switchboard. Give me the officer on duty. Now. Send over two armed soldiers. We have to arrest Major Stewart. No. You heard right. Yes, right away. I'm waiting. Well, look here, Max. Who have we got there? What a nice rendezvous. All here. I didn't know you made it to Major Jack. Well, everything changes. I also didn't know that you're now worth $500. More. Much more. That was just a down payment. Stuart, how could he? Major Stuart. Not anymore. You'll be convicted and demoted. I doubt it. There are no witnesses, so there's no crime. I don't understand. That's how it works. It's probably gonna kill us. Well, hey, that was another classic example. Let me see what I'm Faulty to do. detective work. Faulty. Of course, we're gonna kill the colonel, and you'll get a hard blow to the head, oh, and no, they'll find your it. fingerprints on the murderer. That's it. And the police will take you in as the murderer. The colonel gets buried with full honors, and I spend the rest of my life behind bars. Isn't the plan fantastic? Come on, tell me, Jack. Gotta hand it to you. Your trick with the telephone was good. But two can play at that game. You mean to say that Stuart called later and... And I understood everything. As you can see, your situation is more than hopeless. Major Stuart! I'm listening, Colonel. Is it true that Pete was involved in this? He couldn't decide. Well, now he has plenty of time to think about it. Low life! You goddamn swindler, you will pay. Don't get so excited, Colonel, or you'll start to perspire. Listen, Tom, did you order Bellinger's murder? You're getting more and more talkative in your old age, Jack. You got any last wishes, Colonel? A cigarette, no. perhaps? You know no. I don't smoke, Stuart. I promise you that you won't die of lung cancer. You can never be too careful, Stuart. What the fuck? Put your hands up. It's about time. Sorry, Colonel. 
We were busy with the break-in at warehouse number two. He's the robber. You have anything to say, Stuart? Nice sight, isn't it, Colonel? <laughs> sure is. I especially like the dumb looks on their faces. Their mugs sure are amusing. Just like I said, Stuart, you can't be too careful. Everything changes, Colonel. Everything. Speaking of changes, please forgive the... Don't mention it, Colonel. Good work. If you were a soldier, I'd give you a medal. Hmm. I've already got the uniform. <laughs> I like that. Consider it a present. Thanks. It'll remind me of a good end to a good case. I want to once again thank you. Mr. Orlando? Yeah, Colonel. I'm heavily in your debt. Don't mention it, Colonel. I know. I'd like to invite you to dinner at my place. Dinner. How about Saturday? It'd be an honor. The honor is Durr. all mine. By the way, do you like fish? Very much so. I'd sell my hat for a good salmon. Then I know what I'll cook. I'm looking forward to your visit. Oh, I nearly this forgot. Absolutely Give the insane. chief inspector a call. The chief inspector? Yeah. And tell him you should come to the base. And get Elizabeth from my apartment. Elizabeth? Who is Elizabeth? That's the gal who helped me Elizabeth. get this oh, whole maybe. thing wrapped up. Of course. I'll call him right away. And don't forget about dinner on Saturday night. That was good work, Mr. Orlando. It's so You've done fantastic, fantastic work, Mr. Orlando. Two birds and one stone. Three. Don't forget about Spalletti. Judge Tate will have a whole lot to do, all right. Congratulations, son. Judge brilliant. It's finally over. You could finally invite me for a cup of coffee. With pleasure. I'll even make it myself. Brilliant. Oh, I just remembered. I don't have any coffee. I know. We'll go to my place. Just so there's no misunderstanding, you sleep on the couch. You could just go yeah, home. Yeah, of course. I mean, don't get me wrong, this guy seems pretty old. So what are we going in, like, 50s? It's like, late 40s, 50s? She's clearly early 20s, late teens, maybe. Sure, sure, why not? I mean, these things happen. Fuck it. Mixed reviews, it says it. Describes games plots and audio as a mixed bag. Puzzles plots and audio as a mixed bag. Giving it a C minus. That was just adventure. Whereas Adventure Games gave it two out of five stars. Strongly criticizing the gameplay, puzzles, voice acting, and script. And saying the lush artwork, strong score, a simple but solid plot, and considerable attention to detail. Just about save it from total failure. Fuck it out. Yeah, no sequel, though. Tune tracks, they don't have... 
down there. Right? Literally, I don't think Jack or Rando has a 2009 credit, which is a bit weird. Their other games were Chicken Shoot, Chicken Shoot 2, and Chicken Shoot Gold. <laughs> Incredible. What an absolute load of balls. Express came out this same year. I was going to kind of reference the art style of that was very similar to uh, The Last Express when I was streaming this last night. But uh, the major difference is clearly with The Last Express they filmed stuff and they decided to paint over it, making it look fucking stupid. This is still going on. Picture not available. Fantastic. I put a lot of good work into this. I feel bad they put they clearly spent a lot of time working on this and put effort into it. It's just a shame that it's not good. is quite nice, I guess. Close my eyes and think of you. It's, it's, uh, Hoping it's, so it's still going on. It could be true. Am I living for bidden dreams? Isn't Stuff. Close my eyes and think of you. Never knew it could be true. Now I'm hurting most every day. That's her then, singing away right now. Jesus. 
Jesus. you mean to me it ended oh no cheeky little bonuses just that's the end of that Cinematic Adventure Director's Cut. And uh, that's the end of that. Carl, Carl, you've shown up at just the wrong time because that is the end of that straight up fuckery. Should have come through last night when I spent about four hours playing it. <laughs> Christ, what a piss poor game. Good night, everybody. It's been a waste of everybody's time. <laughs>